Welcome to Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on YouTube and Patreon. Check out our partner Puret Bowling at puretbowling.com. Welcome back, Tamar Bowling fans. Today is another episode of Tamar's Favorites for the 2018-2019 bowling season. Today I am focusing on hybrid asymmetric balls. And, and you know, we obviously see our fair share of bowling balls, and this is an opportunity for me to, you know, break away from the technical objective reviews and give you my personal favorites, you know, my personal top balls uh, in this category. Um, we have, and you know, by this, you know, at this point, we have Pearl Asims on a pedestal, um, but there are also some great hybrid asymmetrics out there. Um, and these balls tend to be pretty versatile, and companies will frequently release them with, uh, you know, polish out of box to highlight that. Um, you know, it's time to put away the objective scorecard and just bust out my personal subjective opinion. All right, let's jump right in. Number five. Number five is the Storm Physics. This is probably sacrilege from, for some, considering how well this ball has been rolling for people. But, you know, top five is good for me. Um, but there are a few others that I really enjoy throwing a bit more. Um, but, you know, maybe it'll make its way up in time, uh, as a couple in the top five are getting long in a tooth now. And you'll see that later. Um, nevertheless, this is a good piece. I really like this core. I'm hoping to have an opportunity to spend more time uh, with it, but right now, out of box, it's more aggressive than I want to use on my typical house shots. Um, however, it still makes the top five, still a good ball. A lot of people are throwing it, so there you have it. Storm Physics, number five. Okay, number four. Number four for me is the Motive Trident. Now, I know this ball's not available anymore, um, but I, I had to mention it because I really enjoyed it so much. Um, I was thoroughly impressed by this ball. I, I used it a ton. It was very versatile. It was strong but usable on a lot of conditions. And every time I put it in my hand, I scored. Um, even when I didn't think it made sense to use it at that particular time. So... Although the Motive Trident is no longer available, and obviously will, you know, next iteration will slip out of the top five, um, I had to mention it this go around. All right, number three. Number three is certainly a, a more, uh, well, it's cheating a little bit. It is a current lineup ball. It's a modern ball. You can argue it's been around before, but anyway, the Hammer Black Widow Black and Gold is the number three ball in my personal favorites you know it's it's another magical ball using the gas mask core uh, th this thing just feels more than the sum of its parts there's a reason the gas mask core keeps going and going and going it works right it's a heavy rolling ball it's versatile um, you know and this hybrid core cover probably makes it the strongest black widow I've ever thrown personally um, strong in a sense of crazy board coverage. Um, you know, if, if there was a big ball you could cross boards with, this is it. Um, you know, hybrid gives it some some mid lane traction. I mean, it is polished out of the box, but you know, it gives you some mid lane traction. And while it doesn't have the snap of the Black Widow Gold, it's by no means a slouch at at all. Um, it was so strong um, that actually doesn't quite get enough use for me because I have to cover a lot of boards. Um, hence, sticking it at the number three spot. So number three, Hammer, Black Widow, Black and Gold. All right, so we're getting close to the top here. Number two. Number two is another Hammer Ball. It's the Hammer Gauntlet. Um, Hammer makes the second entry for me on my list. And again, it's, it's you know been out for a while, um, but it's really close to the top for me. This is one of those balls that just seem to work on a lot of sport shots and save my hide a bunch. Um, it, it's not near the strength of other balls in the top five, um, but definitely one that was extremely reliable. I, I just love the motion. So this was one where I, I always could trust and I never felt it would surprise me. 
Um, it has a, a special kind of extremely trustworthy mid lane churn that just seem to smooth out tough shots. And, and honestly, this is another one of those balls that were so special for me. That special thing of, you know, churning but still giving you motion but control um, that I have a new inbox one stashed away. So number two, the Hammer Gauntlet. Okay, we're at number one. Um, I don't know if there are going to be any guesses, but there, there isn't time for you to guess. Number one is the Roto Grip Hypercell Fused. Mm -hmm. And another Roto Grip ball takes a top spot for me. Um, this time, the Hypercell Fused in the hybrid uh, asymmetric category. It's super versatile. Another I refuse to use on house because it's so good for sport that I want to keep it fresh. Um, that nucleus core is just a beastly thing. Um, it's like basically Roto Grip's gas mask, if you will. Um, the, the nucleus will continue to come back because it continues to work. Um, yes, it's heavy rolling. Out of box, it was polished. Um, but, and, and, and I can see a lot of people using it on house. But me personally, I love the shape that I wanted to use it for sport shots. And so I instantly put surface on it right after our test. And um, I, you know, I, I would say just for context, um, for people who don't know why I love this ball so much, much I averaged 229 with it for three different games I used at, in Syracuse at the 2018 USBC Championships. I mean, need I say more? Um, so bottom line, number one ball, number one hybrid asymmetric is the Rotogrip Hypercell Fused. All right, hope you enjoyed this installment of Tamara's Favorites. Um, join us for more in the future. If you haven't already, please subscribe and join us on Patreon. Thanks again.